Have you ever pondered the mind-bending scenario of a black hole swallowing our sun? Imagine, if you will, a celestial object so dense, so unfathomably heavy, that nothing, not even light, can escape its gravitational pull. Welcome to the world of black holes, the universe's most mysterious entities. These cosmic phenomena are regions of space-time where gravity is so strong that nothing, not even particles or electromagnetic radiation such as light, can escape its pull. Think of them as cosmic vacuum cleaners, sucking in everything in their path. But what makes them most intriguing is their ability to absorb light. Yes, you heard right. Black holes are so powerful that they can absorb the very essence of what makes our universe visible, the light. So what would happen if such a monstrous entity got hold of our radiant sun? Would it mean a cosmic doomsday? Let's dive deep into the cosmic abyss to explore this fascinating possibility. Before we delve into the abyss, let's understand the star of our story, the sun. This celestial giant, so central to our existence, is truly a marvel to behold. The sun, the heart of our solar system, is a gigantic sphere of hot, glowing gases. It's roughly one million times the size of our home planet Earth. Despite its distance, a staggering 93 million miles away, the sun's influence extends far beyond its visible surface. But what exactly is the sun made of? Well, it's primarily composed of hydrogen and helium with trace amounts of other elements. The sun's core is a scorching, high-pressure environment where hydrogen atoms combine to form helium, releasing an incredible amount of energy in the process. This energy, in the form of light and heat, is what makes life possible here on Earth. The sun, our cosmic furnace, is more than just a light source. It's the gravitational anchor that keeps all planets in their orbits, including our Earth. Without the Sun's gravitational pull, our planet would simply drift away into the dark, cold space. The Sun's role in our lives is not just about sustaining life, but also about enabling exploration. It's the beacon that guided our ancestors across oceans and deserts, and it's the power source that fuels our journey into the cosmos. Now that we comprehend the Sun's significance, Let's explore the potential of its encounter with a black hole. Gravity is the invisible dance partner of celestial bodies. But what happens when this dance goes awry? Gravity, the ever-present force of attraction, keeps the universe's grand ballet in sync. Imagine every star, planet, and speck of cosmic dust engaging in a cosmic waltz with gravity pulling the strings. It's the force that keeps the Earth orbiting the Sun and the moon circling our home planet. But here's the thing, gravity's pull is not uniform. It's stronger when objects are closer together and weaker when they're far apart. Moreover, the more massive an object, the stronger its gravitational pull. That's why the sun, being the heaviest object in our solar system, dominates the gravitational dance. Now let's introduce a black hole into this equation. Black holes, though often smaller in size, are incredibly dense. Hence their gravitational pull is immensely powerful. So powerful, in fact, that not even light can escape its grip. Imagine this black hole approaching our sun. The sun, despite its size and mass, would be drawn towards the black hole. The black hole's gravity would start to pull on the sun, siphoning off its matter bit by bit. The sun's shape would distort, its substance ripped away in a process known as spaghettification. And what would happen to our Earth and the other planets in this scenario? Well, they'd be dragged along for this deadly tango, caught in the gravitational pull of the black hole. In the dance of gravity, a black hole is the most formidable partner. Imagine a boundary in space beyond which nothing can escape, not even light. Welcome to the event horizon. This is the point of no return. 
the brink of oblivion. It's the invisible shell surrounding a black hole, marking the limit where escape velocity exceeds the speed of light. Inside this boundary, the pull of gravity is so overwhelming that it warps the very fabric of space and time. Imagine a waterfall where the water is space itself and it's rushing down into the black holes more. The event horizon is a cosmic one-way street. It's like walking through a door that closes behind you, never to open again. Its size depends on the mass of the black hole. The heavier the black hole, the larger the event horizon. But what does it mean to cross the event horizon? For us, it would be a one-way trip into the unknown. Time and space, as we know them, would cease to exist. Our concept of up and down, left and right, would become meaningless. We'd be stretched into a long, thin string of atoms, a process scientists lovingly refer to as spaghettification. It's a journey from which no one and nothing can return. Once something crosses the event horizon of a black hole, it's lost to the universe forever. Crossing the event horizon means an inevitable plunge into the unknown. Now imagine the unimaginable, a black hole meeting our sun. Let's delve into this fantastical yet terrifying scenario. Picture a rogue black hole wandering through the cosmos, somehow finding its way into our solar system. As it approaches, its intense gravitational pull starts to interact with our sun. At first, the effects might not be immediately noticeable. The sun, in all its fiery glory, continues to burn, unaware of the intruder. But as the black hole draws nearer, the dance of gravity begins. The sun, despite its size and mass, is no match for the gravitational stronghold of the black hole. The black hole starts to pull solar material towards its event horizon, the point of no return. This would cause the sun to elongate, stretching out towards the black hole in a process known as spaghettification. This term, while amusing, doesn't quite capture the violent reality of it all. The sun's material is being stripped away, pulled in an intense stream of plasma towards the black hole. As the sun gets devoured, the black hole grows. This isn't a quick process, mind you. It would take a significant amount of time, perhaps even millions of years, for the sun to be fully consumed. All the while, the solar system would be thrown into chaos. The planets, deprived of the sun's gravitational anchor, might be flung out into the cold, dark expanse of space. The aftermath? A solar system without its heart, a sky without its primary light source. Darkness would envelop us, and the temperatures would plummet, making life as we know it impossible. The black hole, having feasted on our sun, would continue its journey through the cosmos, perhaps in search of its next meal. A cosmic ballet of such magnitude would indeed be a sight to behold, albeit a catastrophic one for us. In the event of such a cosmic disaster, what would become of our world? Let's ponder this for a moment. Our sun is not merely a celestial body, but the very heart of our solar system, the engine that drives life on Earth. If the sun were to be swallowed by a black hole, the immediate effect would be darkness. The sun's light takes about eight minutes to reach Earth, so we'd have a brief final sunrise before being plunged into eternal night. But the darkness is just the beginning. Without the sun's gravitational pull, our planet would be sent adrift into the cold, vast abyss of space. The temperatures would plummet, making the Earth inhospitably cold. The atmosphere would freeze and fall to the ground as snow. The oceans would turn into vast glaciers. In short, Earth would become a lifeless frozen rock hurtling through space. The loss of our sun would mark the end of life as we know it. Sounds like a science fiction nightmare, right? Well, here's the reality check. The universe is a vast playground of cosmic events and celestial bodies, each operating under the rules of physics. 
but we need to remember it's also an arena of astronomical distances. The nearest black hole to us, known as V616 Monocerotus, is located about 3,000 light years away. To put that into perspective, light from our Sun takes just over eight minutes to reach Earth. Now imagine a journey that extends over 3,000 years at that speed. That's a long haul, even for a black hole. Moreover, black holes aren't rogue entities, aimlessly wandering the cosmos looking for a celestial snack. They're part of larger structures, galaxies to be precise. Our Sun, along with the rest of the solar system, is safely tucked away in the Milky Way's suburbs, far from the central bulge where the majority of black holes reside. Black holes also aren't cosmic vacuum cleaners, indiscriminately sucking up everything in their vicinity. They follow the laws of gravity just like any other celestial body. Unless our Sun gets extraordinarily close to a black hole, there's no reason for it to get sucked in. While the scenario is fascinating, rest assured, our Sun is not on a collision course with a black hole. Not today, not tomorrow, not for billions of years. 